Welcome to the Entrepreneur's MBA, bringing you lessons from real life entrepreneurs they don't teach in business school. Here's your host, business coach and marketing strategist, Adam Kipnis. Coach Adam Kipnis here for the Attract Clients Now podcast. Appreciate everyone tuning in and listening. And the reason you're here is because you want to learn the art of client attraction because you want to find ways to bring clients into your business. Definitely recommend that you learn the eight steps of client attraction. Go to freebookfromadam.com. That's a, a book that I give away to all of you for being loyal listeners. It's quick. It's step by step. It's exactly what you need in order to begin attracting clients now. So I hope you go out and, and get that book. Um, and definitely give me your feedback. Uh, what did you like? What did you not like? And today I want to tell a story. Uh, I was at a, an event, uh, actually hosted by a friend, Dave Austin, who's a mental performance coach. Um, awesome guy does some amazing things over at Extreme Focus and he, hosted what he calls his beast camp. It's a three-day event around uh, spring training here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And we spent a few days watching baseball from a business perspective. What was going on on the field that we could learn from and we could attribute to your business? Now, you may be asking yourself, what do those things have in common? But baseball, like anything else, is a business, not from the signing of players and the big contracts and selling tickets and all of that, but the things that the team does on the field are identical to things that you do in your business. And it's really interesting when, when you stop and put a different lens on it. And, and one of the things that we had the opportunity to do is as a group, we got to go watch the San Diego Padres practice. And if you've been to a spring training practice, there's five different fields and there's different people doing different things. Some are at the batting cages, some are taking, um, grounders. Some people are, are tossing the ball. Some people are just working on their craft on their own. And one of those people was a guy named AJ Ellis. He's a catcher, 10 year major leaguer, and he was working with the pitching machine. He's a catcher. So he was squatting down behind the plate and just had ball after ball come from that pitching machine into his glove, took it and dropped it, grabbed, caught it, took it, dropped it, caught it, took it, dropped it over and over and over again. He didn't move his stance. He didn't move his uh, muscle. He just caught the ball and framed it on the plate. And he did that maybe 20, 25 times while we were watching him. So we pulled his coach aside and we said, Hey, what, you know, what's he doing? And he said, he's, He's perfecting how he catches the ball so his pitcher can know where to throw it and know how it's going to be caught. And he said he does that about 400 times a day, every day for the five weeks of spring training. So it got us to thinking, what can we do 400 times a day? Or more importantly, what are we not doing 400 times a day that are keeping us out of the major leagues of our business, of our world of our industry. So if you think about one thing you could do, and if you did it 400 times a day, how much better would you be at it? You may ask yourself, what does this have to do with client attraction? And in one very specific way, this is all about client attraction. In this case, this catcher has a pitcher. That throws the ball to him, right? That is his client. In his particular case, for 10 years, his role was to be the personal catcher of Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw is probably the best, if not one of the top two or three pitchers in all of the major leagues in the last few years. And this was his personal catcher. So his catching the ball 400 times a day during spring training was him attracting his client, Clayton Kershaw, into his world. If he doesn't do that every day, you know, Clayton Kershaw is going to go buy from somebody else. He's going to hire another catcher to catch for him because he needs things done a certain way. Excuse me. So look at your 
your worlds. Who is your client? What does your client need from you? And what can you do 400 times a day that is so special that they will choose you? So it's a little bit different way to look at client attraction in this way is what can you do over and over and perfect so you are chosen by your perfect client. Thanks everyone for listening. Hope this was beneficial and look forward to having you on the next episode of Attract Clients Now podcast. Appreciate your support and appreciate your feedback. Thanks as always. This is Adam Kipnis. Talk to you soon. You've been listening to the Entrepreneur's MBA. Download Adam's free book, How to Make More Money in Your Business at www.freebookfromadam.com.